All right, so here's the gearbox from last time. So while it was mostly working, there were a couple of critical flaws that needed to be addressed. Mainly the uh, shafts themselves were far too flexible, which would cause the gears to slip whenever there's too much load. Plus, uh, when handling them, it was really easy to just snap them off just like that. So let's get back into the CAD and design ourselves a little fix. So with our gearbox, the most obvious solution was just to add uh, extra material around these shafts so that they be more stable and uh, not break off with a flick of a finger. And while this would probably work, the gears would fit in there, it didn't seem like the most elegant solution, so I decided to try a new thing. An entirely modular approach where you'd just simply stack the gears in series, and support them with uh, panels that would simply be sandwiched in betwixt each of these. One advantage of this method would be that I'd be able to put as many stages of reduction as I wanted. So here I've got a 256 to 1 gearbox, but if I wanted to just take off one or add another gear, no problem. While this all seemed good in theory, I was a bit too ambitious with a 3D printer and it required a lot of fiddling just to get the first stage turning. The two uh, gears on the first stage are extremely wobbly, and that effect is only going to compound when I add the second stage. Although it assembled pretty easily, when turning the motor on it required even more fiddling just to get those gears turning. Now I'm holding that last one in my hand because it still needs another panel to get fixed in place. Another thing I realized is that those spaces there are quite fragile, so they should probably get beefed up as I easily managed to destroy one of them on the side. Now after even more fiddling and shifting the gears around until the motor started spinning, I finally managed to get the gearbox turning. Now, the question is, why does it require so much fiddling just to get started? Is it because of the motor's low torque? Is it because there's too much friction between the gears? Is it because of the tolerances of the 3D printer that are causing them to wobble instead of being properly set? I'd say the solution to this problem would be to, well, of course, buy a geared DC motor, but if we're sticking with 3D printing, the next step would probably be to scale everything up, including the gears, by at least 50%. Add a bit more space between those panels, maybe one or two millimeters, and see if that fixes the problem. Thankfully, with 3D printing, the next iteration is just a couple of hours away, so I'll see you next time.